Hello everyone, welcome back to year 2 science lesson. We are now in unit 8, mixture. The topic for today's lesson is materials that dissolve more quickly. But today we are going to focus on situation 2, investigating the solubility of sugar through stirring. So without wasting much time, let's get to it, let's go! Alright boys and girls, to start our lesson, let us do some revision on situation 1, investigating the solubility of sugar in hot and cold water. Alright, in our previous investigation, we investigate which water can dissolve sugar more quickly. During that investigation, we found out that materials can dissolve more quickly in hot water than cold water. I hope you still remember this statement. Now, let's look at situation 2. Investigating the solubility of sugar through stirring. Now, let's look at Kugan here. He has one question for us. Why is the tea still not sweet even after sugar has been added? As you can see here, he added the sugar into the tea already but it's still not sweet. Something must be missing, isn't it? Let's investigate. Well, to do this investigation, you may refer to your Science Year 2 textbook turn to page 97 and 98, investigating the solubility of sugar through stirring. Here's the apparatus and materials that we need for this investigation. Water, two beakers or glasses, coarse sugar, glass rod or chopsticks, and spoon. Now, let's start the investigation. Step 1. Pour 200 ml of water into each beaker or glass. Step 2. Put 1 teaspoon of sugar into each beaker or glass. Step 3. Stir the water in beaker B only. Step 4. Record your observation. As you can see here, sugar in glass B dissolve more quickly than sugar in glass A. Sugar in glass A also dissolve but slowly than glass B. Alright boys and girls, it's time to record our observation. Please get ready with your science sheet 2 exercise book and copy all of this information into your exercise book. Write down the date and the title of the investigation, Investigating the Solubility of Sugar Through Stirring. Don't forget to write down the steps too. And then, draw the table. Now, let's fill in this table. Based on our observation, which sugar dissolve first? Is it sugar in glass A or sugar in glass B? The answer is sugar in glass B. Now, answer this question. Materials can dissolve more quickly in water if the answer is stirred. Please copy all of this information into your exercise book. Write it down neatly. Alright boys and girls, it's time for our second investigation for today's lesson. Observing the solubility of stirred salt. Alright, here's other apparatus and materials that we need for this investigation. 3 beakers of the same size, teaspoon, glass rods, and salt. For this investigation, you may refer to your Science Year 2 activity book, turn to page 61. Now, let's do the investigation. Step 1. Pour 200 ml of water into each beaker or glass label A, B, and C. Step 2. Put 1 teaspoon of salt into each beaker or glass. Step 3. Stir the water in glass A quickly and stir the water in glass B slowly. Do it at the same time. Leave the water in beaker C without stirring.
observe the salt in each glass. Here we can see that salt in glass A dissolve first, followed by salt in glass B. Meanwhile, salt in glass C dissolve slowly. Now it's time to record our observation. Please use the table below. Let's look at the table. Here we have beaker or glass A, glass B, and glass C. We are going to write down the time for salt to dissolve. Is it the fastest, fast, or slow? You should write based on your observation, right? Please write it down in the space provided here. And then answer these questions. Question number one. Now we are going to discuss the answer together. Don't worry. Question number one. The salt and beaker dissolve slowly because. Alright. Which salt dissolve slowly? Is it the salt in beaker or glass A, glass B or C? The answer is glass C. Because why is that happen? Not stir. So the answer for number one is the salt in beaker C or the salt in glass C dissolve slowly because not stirred. Right? I hope you get it. Now let's move on to question number two. The salt in beaker or glass dissolve the fastest. All right. Based on our observation, which salt dissolve first or the fastest? The answer is beaker A. Finally, question number three: Materials can dissolve faster in water if stirred quickly. All right. From this investigation, we found out that materials can dissolve faster in water if stirred quickly. Good job everyone! Alright boys and girls, that's about it for today's lesson. I hope to see you next time. Stay safe, take care and bye-bye!